we were unfortunate that the first and the second industrial revolution we could not ride. But we unselfconsciously rode the third revolution, which was the computer revolution, and we created wealth for India. IT sector uh, grew from 2% of GDP to 12% of GDP, where GDP itself tripled. So I feel that this sector also we should uh, approach with some boldness as well as some preparation on the education front as well as making job licensing norms more fluid. Your uh, bringing in of this word agriculture reminds me of some statistics which proves how history has moved in similar circumstances. In 1800s, when agriculture got mechanized and industrialization came, from then in 100 years, the farm labor went down by 90%. Where did they go? They moved to the factory. And how did they move to the factory? They moved to the factory because the entire uh, education system was changed. Everybody was given high school education. So they moved to the factory. From 1970s till date, 75% of the manufacturing factory population has moved to service industry. How it has moved because of these changes in education, etc. So we were unfortunate that the first and the second industrial revolution we could not ride. But we unselfconsciously rode the third revolution, which was the computer revolution, and we created wealth for India. IT sector uh, grew from 2% of GDP to 12% of GDP, where GDP itself tripled. So I feel that this sector also we should uh, approach with some boldness, as well as some preparation on the education front, as well as making job licensing norms more fluid, because people will have to migrate from one job to another job. Those job licensing norms should not be so uh, uh, stringent. They should allow for uh, mobility and online training also should be encouraged by all our companies for our people as well as for ourselves.